Hey everybody, it's David Split. I wanna take just a minute to clarify something I run into a lot when I'm on the road at shows and meetups, which is I'll ask a question, are you using feature flags? And someone will say, yeah, we're using feature flags. And then when I ask a little follow-up question, it turns out they're actually referring to sort of a compile time flag or a server configuration flag or maybe a server configuration file. And what all those things have in common is they're global. They're kind of for everyone passing through this server, right? And when we say feature flags, we're talking about a really different thing, which is what if I could make a dynamic decision in my code live, which way I'm going to send a user without having to push new code, without having, without having to change a config file, et cetera, and for it to be a user by user, session by session decision, right? So I'm in the split all hands room here uh, in Redwood City, and on the, on the wall behind me is a graphic, and you can see users kind of coming along, and there's that traffic cop, right? And that traffic cop is the feature flag. And in this case, you can see on the wall there that 10% of the population is being sent to a new feature. And that's that blue box you see up there, right? And the rest are being sent around that feature. They're not getting that feature, right? This is the example of kind of a gradual rollout. So with a feature flag, you put the flag in your code. And once you've done that, you control who goes where uh, dynamically using rules that are edited externally. And that's the key. You're separating kind of deployment from release. Uh, and it unlocks a lot of power for you in terms of being able to gradually roll out and also to conduct experiments where you send some people one way and some another and then observe the differences between them. And we'll talk a lot more about that in another video. But hopefully it's clear to you now what we mean by feature flags. Cheers.